up, everyone? Mark Wilbiner, TigerFitness.com. Cardio Confessions are back. I get a lot of requests for these, so I'm literally gonna throw in 30 minutes of cardio a day just to make sure I get you guys your confessions. Yesterday was the most epic training ever with Phil Heath. We trained till 1 a.m. We were at Arm Breast Gym, closed. Phil has the keys. We were training hamstrings. We were doing fucking volume. We did so many sets of hamstrings, it wasn't even funny. It was absolutely ridiculous. And what an honor to train with the reigning Mr. Olympia and just get it done. And what a great guy, driven guy, smart, educated, articulate, and his line, Gifted Nutrition, I'm gonna list it down below. I took his Accelerate along with Built, which is a new product coming out. A Couple other things you're gonna see in the video. Look, I'm not gonna make any outrageous claims. And I was training with Mr. Olympia, but for me to keep up pound for pound, rep for rep, and still have energy at the end, to rock it out at 1 a.m., that was a fucking epic day. We ate, the footage we have is something that I will, will go back and watch. Some of these videos are gonna be an hour long. That's how much we rocked it. So, Phil, thank you for your time. And uh, man, I can't wait to do it again, which we will. And I saw him pose yesterday. We did a little hamstrings, did a little posing at the end. And guess what? I don't think Kai has a chance. I'm just gonna say, and Kai's an amazing athlete, but Phil not only has those big, amazing muscles, but he's, his shape, until you see that shit in person right in front of you, you really don't have the appreciation for how truly blessed and truly amazing these elite athletes are. The best of the best, the best in the world. And um, if Kai brings what he brought last year, Phil's got it. Unless Kai goes back to the drawing board and comes with something extra special, it's gonna be nearly impossible to beat Phil. He's that damn good this year. And his mindset and his drive, it's gonna be tough to beat that man. The guy is an entrepreneur, the guy is a freak. And what a fucking day. Which brings me to another thing, like, I'm posting pictures with Phil because well, he's fucking Phil Heath and people want to know what's going on. And uh, every picture I say, oh, Mark looks all right next to Phil. Mark looks small next to Phil. Mark's arms are smaller than Phil's, but his shoulders are good. It's like, dude, we're not competing against each other. And Phil even gets kind of a little flustered by it. Dude, we're just two dudes hanging out, giving you guys some awesome footage. It's not a competition because I would lose miserably. At the end of the day, if I stand next to you, well, most of my subscribers and most individuals on this planet, at five foot six and a half, 225 pounds, I'm gonna make you look small as fuck. If I stand next to Phil Heath, five foot 10, 265, Mr. Olympia, the greatest muscle bellies I've ever seen in my life, I'm not gonna look like Mr. Olympia. So it's all perspective. And it's all, you know, relativity to what you can accomplish with yourself. That's why, you know, it's funny because we were talking about it how you can achieve, I wanna be like you, I wanna be Mr. Olympia. And then people get frustrated because they're not getting Mr. Olympia results. At the end of the day, all you can do is be the best you, you can be. I'm the best me I can be. I have abs, I have veins, I can bang, I compete in NABA, I'm a pro, I'm gonna do my first pro show, hopefully win, that's why I'm fucking walking on a treadmill and eating fucking 50 grams of protein eight times a day because I want to fucking win. People with the drive like Phil and myself, we just want to win. We want to win at everything we do in life. But I think we also have perspective as to what we can win and lose at. Like I don't think Phil is aiming to beat everybody in the, you know, whatever fuck bowling association tour. Phil knows what he's good at. Me, I'm a businessman, and I'm a decent mid-tier bodybuilder. Decent is an overstatement. Phil, greatest bodybuilder in the world. It's all perspective, but uh, he gets it done. I admire that man's drive, and his company's gonna succeed. I recommend you click on the link below. We're the first, brand, first uh, you know, retailer to really get behind Phil, get, get behind his brand, and we're gonna continue to uh, work with him because he's just a fucking great guy. And by the way, I'm in really high altitude, so if you're wondering why, I'm actually walking at six incline at 3.6 speed, which is pretty admirable. But uh, it's gonna kick my ass. I'm doing 30 minutes. What else? Today, 
Got that event at Team Tom Fitness up in Greeley, Colorado. <clears throat> Till that happens, I'm gonna work in my hotel room, maybe go have lunch with Phil. Um, whatever happens, happens. Peter's in the room sleeping. He's a lazy fuck. And uh, I just woke up naturally. At, got to bed at like 3 a.m. <clears throat> at like 7, I popped out of bed. Had some shit to take care of my partner. You know, got some emails done. Gonna go get some food. Um, probably some pancakes and egg whites. And, uh, but I'm really thinking, I'm gonna move to night training, because I feel better. My joints are warmed up. My body feels better. It's just a matter of scheduling it. Um, LA Fitness closes at midnight. And I'm probably not gonna be filming either, guys. Um, unless I'm on the road, I'm gonna probably, to my prep, I don't really know if I'm gonna take any update shots, any uh, shots of how I look. I wanna step on stage and I want people, I want your mouths to drop. I want your jaws to hit the floor. I want you to say, what the fuck is that? And I have 10 and a half weeks to bring a low blinder to the stage that nobody's ever seen before. And frankly, the only way I can really do that is by training on my own. And uh, I love training my wife, but as it is, put my headphones on, I duck down and go crazy. And also during the day, I'm gonna hurry to get back to my office, so I won't do as many sets as I might have been able to do. I push hard, but I think this is that time in my life that if I'm gonna bring it to the stage, I can't give up, I can't give up any work hours, can't give up any kids hours. So the time I might have to do that, my kids go to bed at night. Around like eight o'clock I'll leave, give them a kiss goodnight, Katie will put them in bed, and I'll go. But when I travel on the road, I do events, so I end up traveling in the evening. <clears throat> so like tonight at Team Tom Fitness, you know, I'll be training at like 7 p.m. and that's actually perfect for me. And then we'll uh, you know, go back to the room, catch my flight, get the fuck out of here, and go train in the evening tomorrow night. But at the end of the day, lately I've just wanted to put my headphones on, <coughs> just go to work. And uh, I don't know, filming workouts is cool and all. I know you guys like it, but I've been doing it a lot. And I think it's time for me to uh, kind of sit back and do some training for myself. Maybe get it one to two sessions a week, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel, I could change my mind later today. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. That's what Cardio Confessions is. Um, yeah, everything's good, the Get Fit shirts. Get Fit, the one with the big M, the Cobra. You see me wearing the Phil Heath videos and pictures. I train with him. Those are on sale at muscleandstrength.com. I'm gonna link it down below. Go to muscleandstrength.com. Buy yourself a Get Fit shirt. Buy yourself some MTS Way. It's a fucking badass shirt, says it's not a game on the back. Has the big Cobra for my lats on the front. It's just a really badass shirt. Please support me, support Muscle and Strength, and buy yourself a shirt at muscleandstrength.com. It's gonna be awesome. While you're at it, pick up the way. Speaking of way, I'm waiting on GMP clearance on the two new flavors, and I will announce them as soon as it's out. Other than that, man, I'm eight minutes in. I got uh, 15 more minutes of this left. I'm gonna answer emails on my iPhone. I'm gonna finish doing this. We'll go get some fucking eggs, egg whites, and some pancakes. I sincerely appreciate you guys watching this. You know, it's an honor to be a part of this community. It's an honor to have people watch my stuff. I'm truly grateful for all the support I've had throughout the years on YouTube and uh, just throughout everywhere in this industry. <clears throat> and don't think for a second that I have an ego or I'm not humbled by the fact that you guys watch this and the fact that you guys send me nice letters about how I help your life and, uh, and how I help you, entertain you, even maybe just make you laugh a little bit. It means a lot to me. And uh, that's why I do this. I mean, if you guys knew me personally, I'm a pretty private person. I don't know how much longer I'm able to keep this public thing up because I really don't like the negativity and I don't like, this one guy commented something nasty about my daughter the other day on Instagram. And uh, when all's said and done, 
I sell this company or whatever, I can pretty much assure you it'll be the fastest exit from YouTube and Instagram and social media that you've ever seen in your life. But we got a good five to 20 years on that. So be sure to keep up. New Flavors MTS Way coming soon. Appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the rambling. It is cardio confessions after all. And guess what? Training with Phil Heath, being in Colorado, bringing back cardio confessions, and having a penis nickname Robocock. That's not a game.